this looks rubbish, this looks good, and this is silly, and this is not. Today we're going to use physics in 3ds Max, it's super simple and it's going to add even more realism to your images. First up, this is a dead giveaway in 3D, and if it's our job to convince the viewer that this image is a photo, then we can use a built-in tool called Mass Effects, and you can open that up by right-clicking in a toolbar, Mass Effects. Now I'm going to stack these plates up, and I'm just going to move one or two of them off to the side just a touch. I'm going to select them all and then in our Mass Effects toolbar and set selected as dynamic rigid body. If we open up the toolbox, we can go to simulation and bake all. And what this is going to do is keyframe our animation so we can actually slide through and select where we want to keep and we can just delete all the other keyframes. That first one, we can actually delete that one as well and now our plates are stacked. So going forward, you have no excuse to have straight edges like this in your visuals. We can also use mass effects to fill up jars and bowls. So if we wanna put these lemons in this glass jar, we need to make this a static rigid body. And this basically means it's not gonna be moving. And this mesh that's come up is what these lemons will acknowledge. So we actually wanna change this because it's con concave and I'm gonna hit generate and it's gonna generate a new mesh so our lemons can fall within the jar. Now I can already tell that that's not gonna do it because we can see lines coming across. So what we need to do is improve the fitting and hit generate again, and it should now concave to the object. Grab our lemons, bring them on top of our jar, and we're gonna make these guys dynamic rigid body and let's bake that in. So gravity is cool and all, but what if we want to add some force into our physics? Well, we can do that over here in forces. So if we wanted to add some wind, for example, let's just make sure that's in front of the lemons. And also I know that this wind is really powerful, so I'm going to put it to 0.1. Then all we need to do is select our lemons, make these guys dynamic rigid body, and we'll go down here to forces, add, we're going to add this wind. So now when we run this simulation, these lemons should blow across our screen. So you can reset your simulation here. If we zoom out, this time we can actually bake the simulation. So it's going to keep the keyframes. And there's our lemons blowing away. Finally, let's add another force. And this time we're going to add a P-bomb. And all we need to do is position that where we want. So this is where the force will come from. We're gonna change the start time because otherwise it's gonna kick in at 30, which is too late. Let's just put it on one. I'm just gonna put this on 0.5 as I don't want it flying absolutely everywhere. Let's select all of these lemons, make them dynamic rigid body. We'll go in here and add a force. And this time we're gonna add the P-bomb. Hit bake all and let's see what that can do. Don't be a lemon, use physics. And if you like this video, then like this video. Bye.